over his last 10 games, his three-point shooting has gotten a lot better. He looks very confident from deep. There's no doubt he's got the green light to shoot from his coaching staff. Let's take a look at our starters for Atlanta. We've got Joe Harris. He's out there with DeAndre Hunter. And it's Hunter in at the five, down low. Grant, there is some magic here in New York. One of the best home court advantages in the NBA. Well, B.A., you have to think about the history of this building. It's incredible. I mean, when the Knicks are playing even remotely well, this place is rocking. Here's Freewell. Oh, not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. Yeah, every basket from this kind of range is going to help Hunter's perimeter game. He doesn't worry about the defense. Here's Sprewell. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Pass to Randall. Here's Sprewell. Hunter covering. Four on the clock. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Knicks ball as New York keeps possession. Here's Houston. Murray with that great burst of speed. That helps him stay right on top of his man. And a miss there off the inbound. And here's Hunter for three. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Hunter's got his second basket on the night. They immediately found their offensive rhythm, hitting three straight shots to start the game. Randall a screen on Harris. Randall outside. A shot from the high post. And that one good. Fleshing out his offensive attack here. Randall comfortable from that range to knock one down. Has to Ryan. And here's Hunter from the arc. Another three for Atlanta. Their offense is rolling. A perfect start. Four of four so far. Frazier, the pass to Plumley. Hunter against Randall. Six on the shot clock. Launches a three. Here's Plumley. Slam dunk by Plumley. Well, bouncy in the pick and roll. Plumley is a high percentage finisher in that kind of situation. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G slam cam. Here's Ryan Harris. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. Just their first miss of the night. They've been aggressive and they've been proficient. With his size and skill set, Julius Randle can be a walking mismatch. To put a big man on him and he will blow right by him. Now if he goes small, he'll drag him to the block. So when Randle is focused and involved, he is a monster to deal with. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Pass to Randle. Now here's Plumley. Here's Sprewell from behind the arc. Hunter with the rebound. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Fader on the way. Another one falls for Atlanta. He was wide open, but just to make sure, he put a little fade on that jump. Pass to Plumley. Here's Houston, defended by Murray. Here's Sprewell. Buries it from three. Sprewell's got five. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal. 14. Now here's Murray. Two minutes. His last out, he had 18 Two points. Minutes. And it's all from three-point range. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. Oh, had a nice open look right there. He's got five. Both teams are hot. This is a fun one to watch. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great. Scoring is coming in bunches. And both of the teams feeling confident right now. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Well, for the title contenders, Grant, how hard is it to stay focused during this home stretch of the regular season? It is hard, but, you know, the best teams have the strong leadership, B.A. They have guys that help you stay locked in as a group, so you don't lose sight of the overall goal. And for the past few seasons, the Hawks have been driven by their offense, Grant. And they really have done a nice job of finding some wing scoring to complement 
what it is they've gotten from the guard position, and they put an emphasis on the three-point line. They made a coaching change, and that philosophy is also helping lead them to be a more potent offense night after night. Oh, oh my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, locks out, or he'll destroy you. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. And one guy who's surprisingly physical at the offensive end, Jalen Brunson. The fundamentals, B.A., around Jalen Brunson's footwork are things that players, young players today, need to study. Incredibly efficient and very dangerous when he gets it going offensively. Out to Harris. Yes. And it's Murray picking up the assist. Three points. Murray's got his third assist of the night. <laughs> Even against tight defense, he is so good from out there. Now here's Ananobi. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Houston gets the bucket. There's 45 seconds left in the first. Murray passes to Harris. Goes back up. And a nice layup by Hunter. Hunter's got six. They keep capturing the lead, then giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Achua with a screen on Murray. Houston gets the bucket. Uh, he's firing on all cylinders. Has to be happy with his four of five shooting from the field so far. 24, 23. Pass to Murray. And here's Hunter. Achua defending. And here we go, the Nixon transition. And he comes up with the bucket. He has seven. Amazing just how trusted Brunson is with the basketball. Nixley. Murray from outside. Oh, and he hits it at the buzzer. That's and just the nails the three. Score. Way to close the, the quarter. Well, you love nailing the last second shot. Always a feel-good moment. It's a tie game in New York. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment. This has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. All right, before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Knicks? Attacking relentlessly, drawing fouls. They won that first quarter at the strike. Yeah, they were going right at the opponent here and forcing their hand. I mean, like, literally making them foul them. All right, this is how the floor looks for the Hawks starting the second. DeAndre Hunter Iguodala. is out there with Andre Iguodala. Then there's Bogdan Bogdanovich. Then there's John Wall. And it's Hunter in at the five. Here's Brunson. The Hawks getting their last shot to go. DiVincenzo with a screen on Wall. Here's Brunson. And it's blocked by Wall. Swatted by the guard. John Wall has sneaky link at 6-3. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Pass to Bogdanovich. Now DiVincenzo. Defended by Bogdanovich. The drive by DiVincenzo. And he banks in the layup. DiVincenzo's got his first points of the night. DiVincenzo just one step ahead of the D that time. Iguodala finds Wall. Over Brunson. Here's Hunter. Ooh, he's locked in. Drains his fifth shot in his many attempts. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, Bogdanovich may not be a star, but he has respect. All-star Kevin Durant said, quote, guys like him challenge you with their fundamentals. He can dribble, shoot, and pass. He's methodical and efficient with his movements. A guy like that can play with his brain and also with his skills. It presents a unique challenge. Brian? Boy, that is the truth. Nice stuff there, Allie. Thank you. And the Knicks with the possession here. The Hawks getting their last shot to go. And the Knicks, another three. Brunson working with a quick pace, just brushing the defense off. Wall, the pass to Hunter, driving to the basket. And the basket's good with the assist from Wall. Hunter's got 14. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. That one a little long. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Hunter can't get it to go. Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability, and they showed it with that tight coverage. 
Brunson against Wall. From the elbow, Brunson misses. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. And there's Wall. That John one's good. Wall. On the assist by Hunter. Wall's gotten himself on the board with a three there. Timeout called the Knicks. Victory eluded them last time in Atlanta when they faced the Hawks. Big loss in their last meeting with this team. Couldn't get anything to fall in that one. Since the All-Star break, these bigs have been real hot from the floor. Keep it up for them, fans. Now for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter, about three minutes gone by. The player gets a feel for that floater. It can really make things tough for defenders. You're just not sure how to guard him and where your point of commitment is. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And you have to prevent him from getting to the paint, unless you want to see a highlight. The Knicks have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Frazier, the pass to Randall. Tipped! And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Here's Hunter. And it's Atlanta scoring again. All right, let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Hawks. Well, so far, they've been immensely aggressive on the defensive side. Denying easy shots, and it's made a difference in the game. And the tally on the offensive rebounds right now has been really impressive. They've just been in the right spot at the right time in getting those putbacks. Got him in the air with the pump fake and then took advantage. Hunter's got 18 points in the game. A massive reason they're winning. This guy hasn't missed a shot, not one. Here's Hunter, and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, Brent, every time we get to see DeAndre Hunter, I'm always impressed by his athleticism. Isn't it curious, B.A., how quietly DeAndre goes about his business out there? Just a slasher, doesn't demand anything offensively, and then coaches rely on that otherworldly defense. A great asset to have. Jalen Brunson, he's checked in for New York. Randall against Hunter. Randall, the pass to Brunson. Randall, a screen on wall. Just five to shoot. The floater. That one goes in. Brunson's got his third basket of the night. Well, that basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Bogdanovich, no good. Practically a block. <laughs> good, strong challenge. Yeah, altering the shot. Just as long as there's a miss, that kind of energy not wasted. And a fast break now for the Hawks. Iguodala, the pass to Bogdanovich. Outside Hunter. And the basket's good with the assist from Wall. Wall's got his fourth assist in this one. Picking up right where he left off. Hit two triples in the first quarter. Now he gets another to fall. Gets the three to fall. It feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Hunter can't get it to go. New York trailing. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. For three, Randall. And the Knicks, another three. Well, Randall keeping you honest here. Not a knockdown shooter from that range, but is showing more and more that he's capable of doing just so. The shot by Iguodala, no good. Pass to Frazier. Here's Brunson. And it's New York scoring again. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Nails it from three. Coming into the league, Wall didn't take many threes, but he's added this dimension to his game. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Hawks ahead, leading by five. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks so much. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And Tom, what's it going to take down the stretch to win this ball game? I think just tough defense, take good shots, not turn the ball over, play smart. Back to the basics. Thanks, Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. Thanks for joining us through the first half there is still some work to do for the New York Knicks. 
Right now, it's about the lack of defense or lack thereof, giving up too many wide open looks. I'm not seeing any heart or any hustle. Yeah, you could just imagine what coach is telling them in the locker room. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for social media posts. Let's see, I've got B ball expert crossover. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. So, Grant, if you were a GM and you could choose one young player to build around, who would it be? Wow, that's a great question. I mean, B.A., I, I think you have to go with Victor Wimbanyama. I know he's a young fella. He just got drafted. But the upside is so huge for this young man. His talent, his skill, his size. He is the next iteration of Kevin Durant, in my opinion. And I would go with him. He's got a lot of runway in front of him. A lot of years to get better, get stronger, and to win championships. Julius Randle out there with Mason Plumley. Then there's Jalen Brunson, and it's Frazier in at the two. That's Tom Thibodeau's five as we get going in the second half. You don't need size to score in the lane. It's certainly helpful, but you can see Brunson there. He's got a little teardrop. He can stop that. Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Here's Brunson. The Hawks getting their last shot to go. Atlanta with the rebound. Hunter's got rebound number eight now. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Now here's Randall. Seven points in the game. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. And here's the upcoming schedule for the New York Knicks. On Sunday, they'll be matching up with Jimmy Butler now, and the Miami the Heat. The and then on the Tuesday, Knicks. they'll go up against Number the Trailblazers in Portland. But for that game Rebound. against the Pistons, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more even pairing in the league. That one promises to be a really closely fought battle. Now here's Wall. Six points for him. Here's Houston. Got a hand on it. They recover it. Second chance effort. Here's Prince. They swipe it. Randall outside. Uh, the man was wide open there, and Julius Randall understood the timing to get him the ball to get that score. And here's Wall. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. They've led by as much as 10. Wow! And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. First team foul. First one falls. At the line, two shots. And that's good as he hits both shots. The Hawks have gone three of three in the second half. Here's Murray. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. You know, when DeJounte Murray was traded for a multitude of first-round picks, it certainly came at a price for him. Yeah, it feels like the cost to acquire young, talented players in this league continues to go up. And that said, DeJounte Murray is a legit NBA all-star. It feels like he still has a lot of room to grow. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Here's Randall. New York, no good that time either. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. And Hunter, here we go. And the shot goes. Hunter's got 27 points. Well, great start. Check that box. They've made their first four shots, guys, and the offense looking very fluid right now. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Brian Commissioner Adam Silver has done a 180 once in favor of raising the NBA age limit to 20. He now supports lowering it back to 18. He said it's the right thing to do, adding that the opportunity to work with players at a younger age on not just skills, but mental health, diet, character, and values could be in everyone's best interest. PA? Well, it didn't happen yet, Alec. We'll see. Wall, no good. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. Down low. Here's Randall. 
so it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal foul. That one on Murray. And although Randall can run an offense, he looks so much more comfortable as a finisher, Brent. Yeah, there are nights, B.A., where Randall for sure is the primary ball handler that you want to attack and be that bowling ball to make things happen. But when he plays off the ball and he's finishing around the basket, he's incredibly difficult to stop. During his breakout season with the Knicks, Julius Randle, I think has another level to his game. It's about that consistency he's trying to get to. He's an all-NBA caliber player when he gets it going. Here's Sprewell. He's got nine. Hits the target from 18 feet. Sprewell's got four points in the quarter. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Atlanta. Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. Well, the three-point shot has been absolutely huge for them this entire game. And, and let's be honest, you have to knock down threes to win games these days. Pass to Plumlee. Ananobi against a Kongwu. And just wasn't able to set up in time. On the second place, no foul. Fourth team foul. That free throw is good from Ananobi. At the line, two shots. And so he makes both from the line. The Hawks leading. Pass to a Kongwu. Into the lane. Oh, the dunk by a Kongwu. You can trust Wall to find those openings. He's a talented distributor who wouldn't miss that chance. New York has gone six of eight from the three-point line in this matchup. Hunter against Bogdanovich. Hunter with a double. Launches it. It's tipped. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Frazier, the pass to Sprewell. The rebound by Murray. And so Murray will bring it up for Atlanta. Fires from deep. Ball for three. And the Hawks with another three. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here, guys. In good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half. Getting away from taking a bunch of threes. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Adenobi passes to Brunson. It's stolen by Wall. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by a cover. Now that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another, not on the same page. Julius Randall. Five ticks left in the third quarter. No good from outside. He got his defender off his feet with a pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. And so it's Atlanta. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. We'll be right back after this word. We take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we note, is peripheral vision. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter. But stranger things have happened. And the Hawks, looking at who they've got, John Wall is out there with Murray. Then there's a Kongwu, then there's Prince, and it's Hunter in at the five, roaming the paint. Here's a Kongwu, puts the fadeaway right on the money. And the Hawks lead by 13. Fading away, he buries that one in traffic. Takes great body control to make that one go. Here's Houston. 
Pass to Frazier. Here's Houston, defended by Murray. Here's Randall, deflected! And a fast break now for the Hawks. Here's Prince, and that one is stopped right through. And those assist numbers for Murray keep going up because he can score. Here's Brunson. About one minute played here in the fourth quarter. Outside Ananobi. Back to Brunson. Pass to Ananobi. Out to the wing for three. Drills it from deep. Yeah, that's one way to get back into this game. Keep getting him the ball and let him make the shots. Ball, the pass to Hunter. And good. Coming on the assist by Wall. Hunter's got 33 points. Down the stretch, he's been flat out. Awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Now a timeout called by New York. The Knicks making a switch here. Plumley's checked in. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Hey, guys. Over the last break, I listened to Tom Thibodeau address the team. He told them, quote, if we'd worked harder on the glass, we'd probably be up right now. Show some heart. Show some pride. It was a very direct message. Back to you guys. Okay, thank you, Allie. Despite the defensive presence, he challenges at the rim. Give him an A for effort. Murray, no good. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Here's Brunson outside. He buries it from three. Brunson's got 19 points. And aren't we here with Brunson? This is what we expect from him, crafty and efficient. The kick out to Wall. The three from Prince. And the Hawks with another three. He has the ability and the aggressiveness to capitalize from downtown. Brunson against Wall. Brunson on the drive. And he gets that one. Brunson's got five points in the quarter. With a good burst from Brunson just to get by the initial defense. A leaner. Murray shot is good. And the Hawks lead by 15. Didn't have to lean. Not a defender on him, but he looked very much in rhythm doing it. Here's Brunson. Kicks it out to Ananobi. Pass to Randall. Let's it go from deep. And the Knicks, another three. Trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. Here's Hunter. And that one is hammered home. And I love how he's pushing the tempo and creating for others. He does this game in and game out. Incredible. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. Now a timeout called by New York. The Knicks making a switch here. That was your Knicks seven half squad, fans. Get loud. Pass to Spreewell. And that bucket makes him 6 for 10 in the contest. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. And they get it back. And here's Walt. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Pass to Okongwu. Hunter on the wing. Okongwu with it. Three-pointer. Another three for Atlanta. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. I'm not sure what the defense collectively was thinking there. you got to know where he is at all times. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Oh, hey! How about that? That's impressive. Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. New York, they're working against the clock now. Here's Frazier. And a Kongu with the block. And he's able to get it back. Atlanta's gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter. Murray shot is good. And they were really able to find the mismatches they wanted and exploit those all night. Great execution from the players and coaching staff for the Hawks. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, B.A. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence.
Boy, we can't say enough about what a talented team this is. Their 68th win coming for them in what's already been a very successful run. And even though this season series was only two games, a sweep is still a sweep. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Big Dog. I just loved his defense. He took pride in swatting away a bunch of shots tonight and made his impact felt. Here's Hunter, and yep, it's good. Hunter's got 39. And they came in here with some attitude, and it brought out their best play. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight, getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. VA, the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. Randall against Okongwu. Back to Plumley. Slam dunk by Plumley. As much as you have to admire his burst and force, I think Plumley's aggressiveness on that play, the impressive part. Here's Wall, and a great job by the D, contesting that shot and forcing the miss. Beyond the arc, Frazier, shot is off. Okongwu, the pass to Wall, fires the three, and Okongwu gets the three. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. And so it's Atlanta easily grabbing this one. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game as we present the New Balance Player of the Game. Got two.